Hey hey, Bountayo here. Hope you're doing well. And today we're going to be looking at an app called SkyGuide. I think it's pretty amazing that nowadays on our smartphones it's possible for you to just look at the stars and easily understand what the constellations are, where the planets are. You can get information about these, you know, universal, beautiful things uh, without having to struggle as much as people had to do for thousands of years. And it's just such a gift to be able to have this information. And so I like these apps that do kind of sky things. Uh, let's open this one and see whether it's something you'd like to use. So here's the UI. Another app I've reviewed on my channel is called Night Sky. And the reason why I was actually looking for a different application is I was wondering whether there was an app which had a better user interface. Night Sky, I feel, is a bit uh, crowded. But enough about Night Sky. Let's now look at this one. As you can see, the UI is pretty minimal and it covers the entire screen. I really love that aspect and look at the, you know, look at how beautiful the universe is. <laughs> so right now it's daytime where I am. So the sky is a bit, um, what's the word? Like it's a bit hazy and it's a bit covered up. But if you look at the bottom, you're able to see the stars which are currently uh, at the bottom a few people from my previous review are asking me why do you are you able to see stars at the bottom and that's because in our on our planet it's kind of a sphere so we are surrounded by space and what these apps let you do is if you point down it lets you kind of see through the earth to the other side of the sky that you would be seeing if the earth wasn't there so that's why you're able to see such things now uh, apart from looking at the sky like this let's try to zoom in a bit so there we are now you can see even more details and let's say that we find a, sky, a star that we're interested in so maybe this one called beta cra so let's tap that and then i can read more information about it so at any point if you find a, a an item in the sky that you're interested in understanding better you can always tap on it and read more information about it let's come here so just like that, you can find information about any star that you're interested in. And the reason why I love this idea is because for thousands of years, human beings didn't understand what stars were. And they were just looking up wondering. But for us, it's very easy and it's something that we, it's easy to take for granted. But applications like these are really making it easy for us. And you can also see um, constellations and things like that. Okay, so... Let's look at some of the features that are available. So you can enable, if you wanted to see mythology, if you wanted to see the constellation lines, labels, cardinals, and then there's also more features, which I have disabled, but let me enable them. You'll be able to see uh, what some of those things are. It's possible for you to select the date and time that you want uh, for three years. And it's also possible for you to set the location and things like that as well. You can also set things like if you want to see the atmosphere, so if you want to set on the mood for observing and if you want realistic magnitudes so it's it can get very detailed if you are aware of astronomy and it's something that you want they also have music if you want some soothing music to play while you're doing it and then they also have features for pro now let me come here and look at the benefits that you get for subscribing and how much this costs so if you subscribe and it's only 20 bucks every year i think that is very affordable it's something i would pay for uh <laughs> something i would pay for basically i don't think that's very expensive especially compared to other apps and what it gives you is you can get all the constellations a hundred times more stars a hundred times uh, zoom advanced meteor shower for uh, podcasts more satellites uh, and, and even more stuff so i think this is a very affordable price for an app like this and for the kind of information it gives you the power it gives you and also just how beautiful it is like if you look at this now i can see even more information for me some of this stuff can be distracting so i don't really enable it but if you wanted to get this kind of information about the the universe it's basically possible if you wanted to run to learn about mercury you can come here and easily learn about it this is information that for thousands of years human beings had no idea what mercury was they were just looking at bright like spots in the sky and you know kind of trying to figure out what the heck is going on here so let me zoom in a bit let's see uh let's look at our, our, our amazing sun there it is you can tap on it 
let me tap on it and then you can see more information so if you wanted there's even more details at the bottom more scientific stuff if maybe you're using this for university or something like that and then apart from the settings you can also see featured events so it's organized in a very beautiful way it's possible for you to find news and interesting uh, like conversations about that are happening around uh, astronomy right now you can be reading news and stuff on this app and it's organized beautifully it doesn't distract from the main objective of the app and then here it's possible to look at what's going on like in terms of the universe again this is mind-blowing that this information is this easily accessible in the past even when things like uh, moon eclipses used to happen people used to freak out and figure out that the gods are trying to tell them messages and stuff but now you even have a calendar that can tell you what's going to happen in the future and you can set your dates and things to remind yourself to just go and observe and just you know experience life it's also possible to search if you want and just look at how amazing this is this is and how well this is organized you can search for stars constellations you can search for different planets the moon and the sun uh, different things in the solar system even satellites if you wanted and you can even look in the deep sky if you wanted to look at some of the you know some of those galaxies that are really far away and you just have to search here now let me say something like uh, let me just tap here on jupiter let's see how that works whoa that was super cool and yeah so i really love this um Again, it can, you can unlock all constellations if you want. They also have some in-app purchases uh, if you want. But I think this is an app that you twenty bucks is uh, twenty bucks is cool. I don't mind twenty bucks. Now I've I've just enabled something called the like if you want to use your accelerometer on your phone. Like I'm I'm now I'm I'm using my phone basically to point around instead of using my thumb to scroll. So as you can see, uh, it's much faster now because I'm using my hand to actually look up and down. So let me, um, and you can see it also fills the whole screen, which is, which is amazing. I love that about this app. Okay, so what do you think about this app? Uh, do you, are you mind blown as as I am that this information is this easy to access? That it that uh, you know scientists and all these really really incredible people figured out all this stuff, and now it's this easily accessible to us. And uh, yeah, what do you think? And uh, I recommend the app. Check it out. Uh, 20 bucks per year is not so bad. I hope they don't like start uh, like boosting it or changing it in the future. But that's very good. Either way, thank you so much for watching this vid. I recommend you check out this app. The link is in the description. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.